In Cromer, over the last few days, Karma waters, thousands attending the Crab and Lobster Festival to paint a very different picture to the problems of just 10 days ago. That was when police saw around 37 complaints of violence, theft, intimidation and public order offences after a group of travellers illegally camped out at a car park. For a while, I'm sure what went on the previous weekend will be in the back of most of our minds. But um, as far as the people are going, it was, it was great to see that they had the confidence in the town and that they would be, they would be safe here and, and they could enjoy their day out. It was Cromer at its best again and Cromer, you know, the old Cromer that we would expect to be on a, on a nice sunny, sunny day. Typical Cromer, Cromer bounces back. Cromer is open for business and we're not going to let a thing like last weekend spoil, spoil Cromer. With it being a bank holiday weekend, numbers bounce back up and I think, I think we've had a record-breaking bank holiday weekend. Some businesses were forced to close their doors when the trouble started on the 18th of August. And Norfolk Police Chief Constable Simon Bailey has since issued an apology for their response to it. And a full review has been ordered, looking into how the weekend was dealt with. It should take around a month and the findings will be made public. I feel the pain of the local community, the business community, uh, residents and visitors and so on. Things happened in Norfolk and uh, Cromer that were inappropriate, shouldn't have happened. And um, I'm pleased at least that the response of the constable is to uh, accept that things should have been better. The police, uh, the chief constable has been there several times. I met with him this morning. He gave me satisfaction that he at least is doing a very serious review into what happened. Police are also investigating the rape of a teenage woman at a bus stop in the town, which is being connected to the weekend of disturbance. Today, two men have been arrested in connection with the attack. I've heard the community say that uh, they feel frightened, they feel let down by the police. They shouldn't feel uh, let down. People should not only be safe but feel safe. And it is my responsibility to make sure that we have an effective and efficient police force. That is why I'm holding the chief to account. I will ask him uh, a week Wednesday, do you think that you have delivered effective, efficient policing in Cromer on that particular trouble weekend? Norfolk's Police and Crime Commissioner has organised a public meeting on the 6th of September for people to have their say on what went on before the picturesque town that's one of Norfolk's gems tries to move on. Christina Brinkley, Mustard TV, Cromer.